usually fossil reconstruction is like a three-dimensional puzzle. The problem is that some parts are missing and uh, some parts are sometimes distorted. We take these, um, these pieces and uh, put them into a medical um, CT scanner so we can get uh, three-dimensional X-rays. And what you end up with is hundreds of slices like this. And from these slices you can reconstruct uh, the original form. We have a distortion here on the skull um, between the parietal bone and the temporal bone. There's a gap. So we can uh, use the computer to move the part around. So we can interact with the fossil without you know, damaging the original. We try to correct as much as we can manually by you know, rotating parts that don't fit together and uh, making them fit again or using symmetry to, to mirror missing parts from one side to the other. When parts are missing on both sides, you have to um, you know, make predictions uh, and, and basically you have to guess. What you usually do in traditional anthropology is you take plaster or plasticine and model um, the missing parts how you think they should have been. We try to do uh, predictions using the computer. We measure hundreds of points on, uh, on complete skulls of the same species, fossil species for example, and we use the computer to estimate the parts that are missing. So here we have a, a three-dimensional image of, uh, of this skull. Um, that's a pre-Neanderthal, um, a Homo heidelbergensis from uh, France, Arago. And uh, you can see that it, it, it was heavily distorted during fossilization. So all this is shifted. And, um, and what we try to do is we correct for this distortion by making it perfectly symmetric again. And that's one of the big advantages of, of, of working with these digital data, that you can use the computer to, to correct for such distortions.